Okay, this tutorial isn't taking much longer than I thought. However, we are going through it thoroughly. We're using security. We're using checks for our username and password, which is really good. And in, if I am being confusing, please let me know. Drop me an email or anything uh, through YouTube, anything like that. But now we're on to our registering our user process. So what we need to do here is we're going to connect to our database. We're going to open up our table. I'm going to input our values, which is sim a bit simpler than you might think. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write an, a message saying um, success. Okay. And go back to our page, and I just go back onto this. Uh, what I'm going to do first is check all of our, um, our our checks that we've created. So I'm going to click register, and it's saying please fill, out, fill in all fields. If I fill in say a variety of fields and forget one, and click register, it's still saying our message. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type Alex. I'm going to choose my username. Let's type my full name. I'm going, to uh, I'm going to choose a password which is ABC and for the next one I'm just going to type a load of gobbledygook so when I click register we should say your passwords do not match so we're back to square one um, we're going to type in Alex Garrett we're going to choose a username we're going to choose a password that is say uh, ABC and ABC uh, now this is under six characters so if I click register Password has to be between 6 and 25 characters. That check works. Now what I'm going to do is type my full name as Alex Garrett with loads of that. And um, my username is just going to be Alex. My password is going to be uh, just say a full length password over 6 characters. And when I click register, you can see that length of username or full name is too long. So you can break these checks up if you want. I'll leave that up to you because it will take too long for this tutorial. Uh, but basically at the moment we've got a uh, successful form validation and now what we're going to do is we're going to continue with registering our user now this form validation bear in mind isn't um, isn't uh, very good in the fact that every time we get an error these uh, fields are sort of diminished they've gone and the user has to retype so what I'm going to say is is we've got our, our full name and our username password variables here um, considering this is a um, PHP page itself we can incorporate PHP into this HTML code here and what I'm going to do is under your full name I'm going to type value equals and this will set a value inside the box and I'm going to open up a PHP tag I'm going to close a PHP tag and inside this I'm going to say echo user name or rather sorry full name okay and I'm going to do exactly the same with our username so value equals open up PHP tags close PHP tags and echo out uh, username making sure we have our line terminators on there and now what will happen is let's say I choose this ridiculously long name again and I choose a username let's say Alex um, you don't want your passwords to be stored, um, not a good idea, uh, just leave that up to the user. Uh, so I've got a too long a field, this should produce this error again, but when we click register this time, we are kept with our full name and our username. So it's a lot, I mean it's annoying if you get an error and you have to retype your username, your, oh, your username, your, pa your password or your full name or your first name, your surname, middle name, I don't know, however many fields you're using on your register form, it's annoying to have to type them over and over and over again. So using this, uh, using your PHP echo inside PHP tags, inside the value of your HTML input type is so useful and much more convenient for the user and much more user friendly. So okay, um, otherwise echo success, so I haven't actually given a successful form yet. Uh, I'm going to type Alex Garrett just simply and my password is going to be something over six characters under 25 characters click register aha uh -huh. right let's see we've picked up an error um, if the string length of the password is bigger than 25 or the string length of the password is smaller than six echo password must be 
Um, funnily enough, we've run into the same problem. I've just realized that we have an encrypted value for our password and our MD5 uh, encrypted string is massive, much bigger than 25 characters. So again, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this block of code that we're encrypting our password, cut it out of there, tidy this up and bring it down to underneath register the user. So you can see from experience, order of things is really important. If you get errors like this, go through your code, look at them, realize what you're doing. You can always echo things out in between code just for your sort of debug purposes. So now what I'm gonna do is go back to my form. I'm gonna retype my perfectly acceptable password in, click on register, and we've got our success message. So you can see that just by going through your code, you can see that there's problems. I'm a bit quicker at realizing things. Uh, sometimes I pause the video and have a look through and then resume the video because I don't want to keep you guys on a, like a hold. Um, but yeah, you, you'll soon realize your mistakes. So we've got our success. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say open our database. Okay. And to do this, we need our connect variable or you don't need it. But I'm going to say MySQL connect. And I'm connecting to my local host server, which is my computer, and uh, my root, and my password is nothing. And then we're going to say MySQL select DB. This is going to select our database. So let's say select database, even though this kind of makes it obvious. And that is PHP login. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, give a query so query register and this is going to be equal to MySQL query and this is the important part of this tutorial where we re actually input our variable input our values and we register the user now this is let me bring it down so it's easier for you to see this is insert into okay users which if you go back to here this is it PHP login is our table that we've selected, so MySQL select DB, uh, PHP login, and we're inserting into users, which is our table inside this database. And we're gonna say values in brackets, each value of the of the table, so each field that is present in the in the tape in the table. So if we go back to here and click on browse or say structure is the better one to go on to structure we've got id u id name username password date so one two three four five so we need five one two three four five the id is auto increment um, if you know that from the last tutorial so we just need in here we can check the order is very important as well so we've got our name username password date so this is just name this is username this is password. We don't need to store our repeated password. That was just for a check. And this is going to be the date. Okay. So these variables here, if you're not too sure, are from up here where we have our full name, username, password, and date. I just need to go and change this to full name. Okay. So this should work. Um, after this is done, I'm going to say, um, uh, let's say you have been read registered in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to say die you have been registered and I'm going to say click here or just make it simple return to login page and I'm going to put this as a link back to our index page in which the user can log in so you can see how it all holds together in a second when I preview this to you um, let's say Alex Garrett choosing a username that's Alex choosing a password and I'm clicking register you have been registered return to login page return to login page if I check my database go and browse I can see that they've got I've got Alex Garrett my ID is three my username is Alex my password is my encrypted password and my date is the date. Okay, that's it for that. In the next part, I'm gonna show you how to uh, just tidy a few things up and we're gonna test the login process. So I'll see you there.